people are meeting peacefully and uh, we're happy. Maybe that's why we forgot to invite you. <laughs> Resolutions on uh, PMS, the report. The labor people have digested the report and they have uh, made their submissions here. And so it's still a work in progress. Work so in progress. Still going to be another round of meetings? You're saying no actual solution was reached today? No. So I'm surprised. The, the, the costing has been what the, what the issue has been. And they're talking about the template being used and saying this is not workable for us as a country. So yes, well, but that's why that, when the NMPC presented their own report, Labor saw with them that they were making some points. And it's, uh, like I said, work in progress. The governors are going to discuss this on Thursday. They have discussed this at uh, the National Economic uh, Council. And so everybody's involved because okay. uh, we find ourselves in uh, dire straits. Okay, mm -hmm. No money for subsidy. Mm -hmm. In clear terms. But in electricity, we adopted a report of the Electricity Committee, made some adjustment, and, tra and transform that uh, technical committee into an implementation committee. They are an understanding committee to implement all the recommendations they gave to us here. Some of the recommendations by within the week, you start seeing uh, members of that committee with the minister. On the issue of mass metering, they will, be, they will go around now and make sure that the discos uh, put uh, meters for people. So there are reports that uh, the, the, the people, they are not metering people. They want to be doing uh, bulk uh, billing, uh, estimated billing, and uh, charges. And so we, we, we don't want that. There is also a resolution that the gas companies will uh, try to reduce uh, gas pricing for uh, gas to power uh, 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 companies. That's uh, the Jenkos and the rest of them. So that. The price of electricity per unit will go down, and the consumers will benefit from it. How soon do you think this would happen, sir? Immediately, we are giving the machine orders for them to do so. So Nigerians should expect a reduction in the price of electricity soon? Yes, not uh, very, very soon, but you know some paperwork has to be done. And once that is done, the, the price of ampere of electricity will go down. And once it goes down, Consumers will benefit. There was also the issue of a, a forceful mig migration of people from one band, the low paying band of D and E by uh, the electricity companies, into the upper band of A and B so that they, they can uh, give them a higher tariff. And we said the people who suffer such should petition the uh, NERC, that's the regulatory commission, and they will be brought back, the, and the disco will be sanctioned. So now, now that the, 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 the issue of uh, the template is here to be ascertained, does it mean that each time uh, the prices of uh, crude oil goes up, uh, go up, uh, Nigerians will still continue to pay more? That I told you, I told you, is working in progress. The NMPC have explained there are certain things they want to do. The, because what they are doing is import dependent. The deregulation is import dependent. But they are doing bulk purchase. So they, they can get discounts. They, they are also uh, uh, using a foreign exchange that is discounted for them. They are not buying from the parallel market. So all these things will be put on the basket, in the basket. And uh, the price will emerge from it. So Labour and FD will no longer meet on the PMS? If They're I'm happy. Good. That's what I'm telling you. We have uh, finished the discussion. So no adjournment? Nothing? No talking we are adjourned to April. Okay. April after Easter. On the same matter? Yeah. Meanwhile, the two committees are standing. They're there now. Okay. They, so they will act on our behalf. The reports we are presented, we point out areas that we are not comfortable with, and we're able to put our suggestions across which will form the basis of a decision. First is that we have been using the import pricing method, which I think is only Nigeria out of the OPEC countries that have been using that method. That entails that 100% of what we consume will be imported. That is, you sell your crude oil, then you import finished product. That to us is not sustainable, it's exporting our jobs, and our first priority is to see how the refineries can be fixed. Because before 2000 and, uh, 1998, our refineries were working. And the model that was used 
and the template that was used in fixing the price is the production cost pricing method, which is what all OPEC countries are using. Uh, because you then have to produce uh, or refine products for the domestic use and also for local markets. So we thought this is what is sustainable at this point in time, and that is uh, what we have posited. And uh, we have looked at the timeline for the refineries to actually work, which is what they will be working on. Because you remember in the past, some of these commitments were made, but the refineries are not still working because of the inherent interest in importation rather than refining. And uh, you know the benefits, including jobs and industries that will spring up if we're able to refine product. So what's the timeline, Mr. Waba? No, the refineries own is a different issue, which so they the are working is, with the committees, yeah. Because while this timeline is going on, people are still going to be complaining about the price of PMI. And that's what we say centrally also, they must look at the issue of Nigerians, especially at this point in time. Uh, because certainly the center point of every policy should be about the welfare of Nigerians. And therefore, they must find a way of protecting Nigerians, uh, insulating Nigerians from the vagaries of market forces. This is fundamentally what we have posited here. And we said uh, the NMPC should do everything possible to look at the current template and make sure that it serves Nigerians instead of uh, the market forces. From the comment of the minister, it appears you are not satisfied with the... The, the, you're, you're, you're not satisfied with the petroleum uh, committee uh, report? It's not about... It's not about... okay with the electricity... No, report. wait. On the two reports, Labour tried to posit its position. The two reports. And the first one I mentioned to you is about the method we have adopted in arriving at the uh, items on the template, which were faulted because it's actually an import-driven template. And we have proposed the local refining template, which most other OPEC countries, or all, are using outside Nigeria. It's clear also that that template was an imposition by IMF, and of which we have pointed that clearly with literature to back our point. We will also share with you, I think, the position paper which we have adopted, which have been used as a basis for NLC and organized labor to engage this issue. And uh, it's very profound, and it's good that you have a copy to go through, which is what our organs have looked at. So it's not essentially a new issue or a new idea, but it's actually have to protect uh, Nigerians from uh, those market forces. On the tariff issue, uh, clearly I think uh, we have actually had some understanding uh, that the issue of tar continuous tariff increase can be addressed. One, through the issue of appropriate gas pricing. For now, uh, the gas pricing to the generating companies is uh, actually at uh, $2.80. And uh, we have proposed that it should be reduced to $1.50. That will actually affect also the uh, downward review of the uh, electricity tariff. We have also looked at the inefficiency in the system, especially metering, which had become a major problem. But fundamentally, we have also said that the entire privatization process is due for review. The condition precedent for the privatization is that after five years, the entire process should be reviewed, whether we're making progress or we are not making progress. And that, I think, date have passed. And we have agreed that it's going to start immediately so that all stakeholders, because you know also that local governments invested, uh, state governments in invested in the entire uh, power process. The workers also have their investment in the power sector. So we want that process reviewed. Uh, the other issue is the mass metering, where we have also pointed out that the meters are being hoarded. They are available, but not being distributed because uh, the discourse felt that when, once everybody has meter, it then means you will regulate what you consume. And uh, by so doing, the revenue may actually drop. And uh, I think part of the process is that we have now a standing committee that will start week next week to ensure that meters, everybody will get meters free. And uh, that, I think, is a major step in the right direction. Uh, the other issue is entirely to look at the template, which includes the U.S. inflation rate, Nigeria inflation rate, exchange rate, to see how all of this can then be reviewed. But uh, essentially, we have agreed also that uh, the price should not actually be increased. So those are the areas and issues we have agreed on the technical report, because technical report is a report of few technical people that then we have to subject it. And in our own case, we subjected to our guns. You remember we had organ meetings where those reports were subjected, and we have a position. And that's the position we have come to canvas for here at this meeting, and I think uh, we have been able to successfully just do that. So when okay. you come back okay. after, uh, when you come no, what, 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 no, the April is for the electricity uh, subcommittee. We then need to come and monitor progress and including the recommendation because uh, some of the recommendations like red reduction of the gas cannot be done here. It has to be scaled up uh, to uh, other 
uh, tiers of government, particularly also uh, other higher authority. That has to be done. And also, uh, including the issue of the review process, which we mentioned, also have to uh, also uh, take on board all the issues and concerns we have raised. And uh, importantly, is also about uh, what we have conversed about the PMS template, which we said, no, is based on a model that uh, certainly will not address the issue. So we said also that they should go and look at the template and uh, bring something that at least will address the concern of majority of Nigerians, including organized labor, including workers that are on fixed wages, and including those in the private sector. Okay, but very briefly, uh, 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 the, the President. If before April, there are fears that fuel price might increase before April, what, how will it affect this resolution you have reached? Well, the resolution we have used is in good faith. If that happens, you also know that we'll have to consult our organs and uh, respond appropriately. That's how we have always engaged the issue. But in good faith, collective bargaining process or bipartisan uh, consultation is necessary to be able to address the issue and put them into context. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you very much.